everyone, this is my Pixie Lot inspired tutorial and this is the picture I was inspired by. And this is my look. It's a nice bronze. A nude lip. It's a bronze smoky eye and I think it's really versatile. You could wear it going out or in the daytime. So if you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. Thank you. Um, first of all, I primed my eyelids. Now I'm going to apply um, Rimmel London Colour Mousse, uh, which lasts for 8 hours. And it's in number 5, which is Glitz. And it's a gorgeous bronzy brown colour. I don't know if it's picking up. I'll just swatch a bit for you. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid, up into my crease. I'm, going to, I'm using my finger because I have tried brushes and Q-tips and I think the finger works the best at applying this. And anyone I know that has it does the same. Use the Q-tip or the finger. It's really easy to work with this colour. I love using this as for a smoky eye because because I'm a bit, I'm not dark skinned, I'm a bit pale, I think really intense black eyes look probably a bit funny on me. Might look like I have two black eyes. Sorry I'm looking to the left. It's just my camera, oh my mirror is there. little bit bring it in and if it's not really intensified don't worry it's only used as a base and then we'll go back and intensify the colour later so we're done with that for the minute mm -hmm. next we're going to take my MAC pigment in Dark Soul which is number 6 it's a blacky glitter it's really nice can you see? <laughs> Yeah, I really like to use that um, for my smoky eye. That or else the Urban Decay Gunmetal. I think they're great. But the Urban Decay have loads of glitter, which is probably a bit much for me for the day. Sorry, there's like a bee here. Go away. So, I'm just going to lightly dab it in on the outer corner of my eye and the same go away B. I I think it's actually a fly it's because I'm at my window <laughs> It's a fly. <laughs> That's not too bad. And then I'm going to just lightly bring in the dark. Then I'm going to go back and, as I said, I'm just going to intensify the bronze, Nina. The bronze, Nina. I can't talk today for some reason. Just a dot there. And a dot there. And kind of blend it into the black with your finger. This is a really good look for people to create if they haven't got any brushes. Or even only one brush. Because you only have to use your finger and one brush. bringing some in my inner corner because I think it's nice there and then I'm going to take this Beauty Babes eyeshadow kit which is this one and I'll just curve in the mirror so it doesn't blind you 
but I got this, believe it or not, in pennies. Two fifty. How cool. But the only colour which I kinda use is this sandy colour. I'll just swatch. It's really nice. I like it anyway. I'll just it's like a whitey bronzy colour. But it's nice for a highlight. Um yeah, the rest of the colours I wouldn't really be too pushed about. They're just powder basically, there's no pigment in them at all. But um, it looks pretty. I, I didn't mind paying 250 even if one colour doesn't work because that was a lovely colour. I think that's the nicest colour. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to grab another white eyeshadow. So this is a number seven, um, Innocent Stay Perfect eyeshadow in number 70, and it's just a matte white. And I'm going to use that mixed with the sandy color from Penny's, and um, together for my brow bone. Usually I use my finger for my brow bone, but um, no, I'll just use the brush today. Kind of depends on my mood. So tap that off any excess. And just lightly sweep. I really like Pixie Lot's style as well. She kind of inspires me. She's gorgeous. So that was the matte one I used first and then this is just the sandy colour from the kit I'm using. It's really really sparkly so just go gentle with it. Then I'm going to take my angled brush. Any angled brush will do. I have a black on me. Um, and I'm going to use my colour mousse again in glitz and just dab a little small bit, tiny little bit on the brush. And I'm going to use it for my lower lid. I think it's gorgeous to bring down to your lower lash line because it brightens up your eye so much. So I'm just going to get a Q-tip and fix a little dollop there, and just once again bring it into the inner corner. I think it's gorgeous colour. I'm actually going to get more of these. I think this is the only colour of the mousse I have. Um, yeah, looks nice. I'm going shopping to Dublin with my sister tomorrow. Well, I'm going up tonight. She has her last exam for the summer tomorrow, so I'm going to go shopping and she has her exam. <laughs> Works for me. Next, I'm going to take Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Pencil. Um, this is in the colour Lucky, which is kind of a bronzy colour. If you have bourbon as well, either would do, or any brown. You don't have to use brown, you can use black either, but I kind of like to use brown or bronze because I'm fair skinned. So I'm just going to line my waterline. I love the Urban Decay pencils. They're really, really pigmented and they just glide on. Like, look how nice that colour is. Mm. 